Chuki Okobe back with more basic instructions, mind mastery. Now, in previous videos, I've talked about what NLP is, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And NLP is all about language and effective communication for success. It's a methodology that helps individuals develop communication skills by providing insight into how information is perceived and interpreted in the mind. When communicating with others, just realize that there's more information being processed than just the words that we speak and hear. And NLP as a system delves deeper into how the mind intakes information, thus helping you to use this knowledge to communicate better. Now, why is learning about NLP for business communication important? Well, just think about it. From the boardroom to the virtual room, communication in the workplace is the lifeblood of a team that runs smoothly. Good interpersonal communication means that everyone will get more mileage from each conversation, every meeting, every email, every phone call. Learning the inner workings of how language is processed in the mind, it helps us to break that bad habit of listening to just answer. Instead, everyone listens to understand. They're listening to you, and now you're listening in a way that makes the others feel heard. Developing our communication skills so that we're making sure that we're asking the right questions so that key insights aren't lost in translation. And it's more than just words. The effect of better communication can be measured in business in dollars and cents. In fact, it's reported that the average large company can lose up to $62 million a year due to bad communication. Smaller businesses can suffer losses of up to $400,000. And leaders and teams that master communication skills in the workplace run more efficient and collaborative projects that often exceed goals and KPIs. It makes total sense when you think about it. With maximum comprehension and minimal misunderstanding, everyone on your team will be more confident, more competent, and more productive. I mean, in business, it's easy to see why we want to be more agile and versatile in our communication. So today, I want to explore how NLP as a system works and introduce you to the presuppositions of NLP. Let's begin by defining presupposition. Presuppositions in general are beliefs underlying a system. The presuppositions of NLP are what I'd call convenient beliefs. And it's not necessarily that they're true or false. They're convenient if adopting the belief can enhance my effectiveness in communication and help me get my results. When operating from one or more of the NLP presuppositions when act interacting with employees, partners, or working with clients, it can be a massively empowering basis from which to facilitate change and collaboration in an endless number of ways. When we presuppose something, we make an assumption that something is true, and then we build upon that idea. It is important to remember that NLP's primary focus is on getting you results, not whether a specific presupposition or belief is true or not, but rather how effective is it in assisting you in achieving your specific desired goal or outcome when communicating with others. Now, there are 15 presuppositions of NLP. I'm not going to go deeper into all of them right now. I'll do videos on other presuppositions in coming weeks. I do want to explore a specific presupposition. It's not the first one that I teach in NLP trainings, but it's one I think you'll connect to on an even deeper level. It's called the law of requisite variety. The law of requisite variety states that the individual with the highest amount of flexibility in communication and behavior will have the most influence on the system. That basically means that the more flexibility you have in how you communicate, the better quality of interactions and relationships you'll have. I mean, effect, effective communication, it's a vital tool for any business leader. You can appreciate your success at getting your point across can be the difference between sealing a deal and missing out on a potential opportunity. Now, as the leader of our companies, or if you're an entrepreneur, you'd agree that we are definitely focused on results. So learning better communication flexibility and developing the capability of adapting our communication to suit the situation, we can stay focused on the outcome we want to achieve and potentially avoid obstacles. I mean, it helps us negotiate agreements, reframe misunderstandings so that we can move forward easily and effortlessly to ultimately achieve the outcome we set out to get. Communication flexibility not only empowers us as business leaders, but it's also a great model for others. We want those that we lead to know that there's always a way and that all we need to do is communicate efficiently to explore the different ways together and find a pathway that works. It's simple math. Learning about the basic instructions of NLP can give us more flexibility in our communication with others. Better communication equals more efficient teams, more productivity, and more importantly, more profitability. So think about ways within your business, 
How could you and your team benefit from developing more flexibility in communication? If you're curious about Mind Mastery for success in business, just reach out. Let's talk about it. Because success is simple if you know the basic instructions of Mind Mastery.